I'm Peter Vaughan and this is the very latest from Auto Sleepers. Today we're in the Cotswolds in the beautiful village of Broadway and of course we have here the motorhome named after it, the very latest 2021 Broadway EL. Now you'd think traditional firm like Auto Sleepers built just down the road, of course they would have a rear lounge model in their coach built lineup. But actually, this uh, EL layout hasn't existed in the Broadway range since about 2015. Now, the first end lounge Broadway around 2009 was a compact model, 6.28 metres long, and it didn't um, fare all that well in our testing. The later one got a much more enthusiastic response, but that was well over 7 metres long, a bit big for a traditional two-person van. So now the EL is back and they've gone piggy in the middle, 6.63 metres long, nice sensible size and they've put it on a long wheelbase chassis so there's not too much overhang at the back and it drives really well. I've taken it up the hills here and it performs really well through the twisty bits. You can see how short that rear overhang is here, it really does aid the handling. And you can also spot the alloy wheels which come as part of the premium pack and really premium pack is to all intents and purposes all, all intents and purposes standard on an auto sleeper these days it's two and a half grand but uh, that and the winter pack added add those in and you get to 60 68 and a half grand for this vehicle and you get everything pretty much in that price. Here is a hook up for your TV, you've got 25 litre undersun gas tank with a filler just here so that saves you money on refills, the alloy wheels of course and the Peugeot cab comes with all the colour coded bits, bumpers, handles and so on and the 165 bhp engine which gives a van of this size a really good turn of speed. If you want an automatic, you can swap from Peugeot to Fiat, and then it's two grand extra for the 140 bhp engine, three grand if you want the 160 bhp unit. At the back are mountings for a bike rack, and you've got a reversing camera as well, so manoeuvring is nice and easy. Here is your external gas barbecue point, your external main socket, and your water filler. Habitation door works on the central locking and when you unlock it the step comes out automatically. Other features, well the awning is part of the premium pack as well and I love the fact that it's not just bolted on the side, it is nicely concealed on the top of the vehicle so it doesn't add any width and it looks much much neater. Got flush framed windows of course as well with this being a, a premium motorhome. And your only external storage is this little, this little hatch at the back, which looks a bit like a cassette toilet door, but actually gives you room. If you've got some of those outdoor chairs that fold up into a sort of stick shape, they can be posted in there. But it doesn't go right the way across because your boiler is in the opposite corner. But room for some outdoor storage. Pity it's not a little bit bigger. Of course, Taking half a metre off the overall length means that auto sleepers have had to completely rethink the internal layout of this Broadway EL. But it doesn't feel any smaller because not only have they made very good use of space, but also that this Broadway, for the first time in the Broadway range, is as wide as the larger Carinium models. So it's 2.32 metres overall, rather than 2.23 of the other Broadways and the smaller Nuevo. Now, you really do feel that extra width in this galley area where you've got the, the washroom opposite. But the other key thing is that the door, the habitation door, is now centrally positioned. So when you come in the vehicle, you turn right into the lounge or left into the galley area. Now, why does that make such a difference? Well, often with this type of layout, the door is here and you come in to a load of furniture, a narrow gangway. And whilst the, the lounge at the back feels lovely and spacious, this bit often doesn't. So, congratulations to auto sleepers on that bit of lateral thinking. It's been done before, but it really does work. 
The other thing is that if somebody's preparing a meal in the kitchen and you come in through a door here, you've got to squeeze past them to get to the lounge. No such problem here. Now, of course, all this tweaking of the layout would be as much use as a chocolate teapot if they didn't get the rear lounge right. This is the whole reason for buying a motorhome like this and I have to say auto sleepers have got it pretty much spot on. You've got scatter cushions, you've got these corner headdress which are really rather nice if you just want to sit back, put your head back. You've got reading lights that you can position wherever you want them, plenty of them. I think there's six in all. You've got rear speakers in the roof. And of course the other thing is, like the auto sleepers of long ago, you've got great big windows. You've got a lovely view all around and extra daylight coming in from above. It's a good space for relaxing, but of course this is also your, your dining room. The smaller table comes from behind the driver's seat and its leg out of the wardrobe. This really is your little coffee table or snacks like meals and it's ideal because it doesn't take up too much room. It's reasonably sturdy but it, it's a good good use of uh, well, a good, good practical table. And you've also got this surface here by the door. Um, that, that's useful when you don't, don't want to put a table up at all. It's somewhere to rest your coffee cups or somewhere to put your TV because you've got power and your TV aerial point there as well as this little pop-up power point for charging your phone and so on. Now, for bigger meals or perhaps when you've invited friends around, not so convenient when you've jam-packed it full of all your holiday clothes but you've also got a freestanding table of course you can use that outside on a nice day wind out that awning at the side sit outside and that is a good size for dining however because the vehicle is wide um, it's probably best to pull it to one side and sit side by side with your missus um, to eat because if you put it in the middle you both can be rather sitting on the edge which isn't so comfortable. The back end of this motorhome isn't just your lounge and your dining room of course it's also your bedroom. Now you'll probably keep your bedding under this near side settee and it's easy enough to extract it because the bases are on gas struts and if you get it right which I didn't first of all, yeah, they go up and they stay up so you can pull your bedding out nice and easily. On this side it's more full of electrics, you've got lithium battery as standard now on this Broadway and you can upgrade that if you're wanting more independence from mains hookup. So then if you want to get ready for bed, well you don't need these armrest cushions, I will get rid of those, they probably go in the cab backrests, notice that they're press studded to the wall so they don't all end up on the floor when you're driving. Now perhaps this is the time to mention another option on this vehicle and that's to have a chest here, a um, little chest of drawers. Now it's more of a caravan style feature but it gives you somewhere to put things at night, a um, little area for coffee cups during the day, but it does impinge slightly on, on the this openness of the lounge. So it's a, you know, it please some people, not others. Now, very easy therefore to make single beds in this layout. They're 1.87 meters long by 0.7 meters wide, so decent size, six foot one and a half in old money, enough for most people. And they're the same size, so you won't be arguing with your partner over who sleeps where. If you prefer a double bed, then you'd have left those cushions in place. Simply pull out the slatted supports from either side, Backrests go in the middle, 
and then you need to retrieve those armrest cushions still quite a lot of cushions to store in the cab but that shouldn't be too much of an issue so the bed is super super long 2.21 meters if you sleep this way 1.87 meters if you sleep this way around still enough for most people and of course if you sleep this way getting in and out of bed is easier without disturbing your partner you can have, still have your TV at the foot of the bed the only thing I perhaps would have liked is on a lot of motorhomes you get a panel separating you from the side wall just keeps things a bit warmer at night so that you're not touching the wall when you when you roll over but uh, otherwise makes a very good bed or very good choice of beds without a great deal of effort. By now you're probably thinking, well done auto sleepers, you've created a six and a half metre or just over motorhome with a massive lounge and no room for anything else. But you'd be wrong because look at the kitchen, it's pretty impressive isn't it? You have this uh, Thetford cooker with three gas rings, mains hot plate and separate grill and oven. Then up here you've got a Dometic uh, microwave, you've got an extractor hood, um, decent area of worktop next to the sink and pull up power point with three main sockets. The sink has this little drying rail, drying rack built in but you've also got removable draining board and at this end if you run out of worktop you've got a little bit more by the door there so decent amount of worktop space you've got a selection of cupboards and drawers three drawers what more could you want well often with this sort of layout you think yeah lovely kitchen pity about the size of the fridge but they've crack that one as well because the fridge is over on the other side and it's one of these tall slim models 142 litres and it's got automatic energy selection as well. Now that just leaves the washroom and if you think that auto sleepers have performed some miracles and created some sort of TARDIS well this is the one area where you might be just a tiny tiny bit disappointed because there isn't a completely separate shower but what you have got makes good use of the space there is. For a start you've got loads of leg and shoulder room on the cassette toilet, you've got this basin here, cupboards, not a great deal of storage but probably just about enough here and here, you've got a drying rail that pulls right across the bathroom and then at shower time this pulls round and then you complete the shower with a frosted door. It's a good size space for showering in here, plenty of room, it might be a little bit tight if you want to squeeze through there but you don't have to do that because you can rotate the door from here and the other thing I should point out perhaps the only thing that really is lacking is a bit of worktop because this area isn't flat you can put a bar of soap in there but not much else there's nowhere to put toiletries out while you or makeup or whatever when you when you're using it could do with perhaps a little folding shelf or something here of course with the premium pack you get all the cab specs so DAB radio sat nav leather steering wheel with the remote controls for the radio and phone cab air conditioning cruise control all the bits that you'd want and the cab area isn't wasted on sight because you can swivel just this one seat just the passenger seat the swi passenger seat swivels round and then you've got somewhere to sit if your partner's for being very lazy and dozing in the morning not only that but with this fold down flap you could put your laptop on here watch a bit of youtube and maybe put bacon bacon butty on there as well and uh, have a lazy breakfast up above you've got plenty of daylight coming in through that big wind up opening sunroof you've got blinds around the cab of course this is the screen for your reversing camera which seems more natural than having a, a separate uh, screen or the pipe added onto the dash somewhere 
So the only thing I would criticise is these open pockets at the side of the over cab. They're pretty much useless because the lip at the bottom is so so tiny that anything's going to fall out as soon as you go round a roundabout. But there's a lot to like in this van. If you're after a really well equipped rear lounge two berth motorhome, this just has to be on your shortlist. More motorhome reviews coming along soon. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe.